What's going on guys, Nathaniel here. Have you ever heard the old proverb of a fool and his money are soon parted? Well, Thomas Tresser said those words or wrote those words in the 1500s and those words have stood the test of time and I know that nobody wants to be a fool. I started this channel and I'm spending my free time creating videos to teach you how to not be a fool with your money, how to invest wisely and save for your retirement and be successful. So the opposite of being a fool is being wise. And what I'm trying to teach in these videos is how to be wise with the money you have and with the money you earn. And therefore you can be successful and not fall into traps that people every day fall into like outstanding credit card debt or poor budgeting or getting into get rich schemes that usually end up with you putting money down and not getting anything back. So my assumption for you today is that you probably have a job and you're working hard for that cash and you don't wanna see it go to waste. You want to look at investing in ways to make money that is safe, reliable, but has a high growth. And I'm telling you that there is really no secret that anyone can tell you about how to get rich quick. And instead, you need to look at investing in the stock market, in bonds, and that passive income will continue to grow without you having to really worry about it. So let's take a step back really quick. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you will continue to learn with me as I learn to be a wise steward of the money that I earn and the money that I am growing and I want that for you as well. Really, any path to success is going to require planning whether that is trying to grow a business, whether that's getting a promotion at work, or growing your wealth. And that starts with a budget. Now, in a nutshell, a budget is a way to track your expenses and, and ensure you are not exceeding your allotted amount in each category. So that can include rent, auto insurance, groceries, your electrical bill, internet, anything that you spend in a month, you can track that. And ultimately what you wanna do with your budget is not exceed the amount of money that is coming in. So the money that you're earning needs to exceed what you are expending in a month. And the only way to save money is to have money left over at the end of the month. Now I know what you're thinking, that's like really oversimplified and I know that I have a video that you can check out which goes over how to create a budget, but really that is where you need to start if you want to start growing your wealth. Now the next step is investing the money that you have left over. If you are just letting it sit in your savings account or in your checking account, you are not getting any money in return for holding that money near to your heart. You need to invest in the stock market, in an index fund, bonds, whatever the case may be, there are a ton of options out there for investing. And the ultimate goal is that that money is going to grow in excess of what annual inflation would be. So I remember back in the 90s going to a gas station and seeing that a gallon of gas cost something like 90 cents. And today we're looking at at least three times as much. That is inflation. Now inflation varies from year to year, but overall you're going to see that as time goes on, things become incrementally more expensive. That's just the way of life. As the economy grows, as wages increase, you're going to see inflation in the things that you need to buy to live. So when you're looking at what a good return on your investment would be, it should at least exceed what inflation is at the going rate. So right now you're looking at like one to 3% inflation every single year. Your money needs to make more than that 3% in order for you to grow your wealth. I was texting with my dad this morning and we were talking about this very topic. He referenced a book called The Richest Man in Babylon. And one of the takeaways was don't be misled by rapid wealth. There are a ton of get rich schemes out there and most of them are gonna leave you with zero in return. I say this because hearkening back to the very first quote that I introduced in this video, a fool and his money are soon parted. You don't want to be a fool. You want to do the research in whatever it is you're trying to invest in. If it is not insured or if it is not a commonplace among investors, then you should probably stay away from it. Now, there are some outliers there. 
let's say an IPO, so a company that is just trying to get out onto the stock market, there's no reason to give up the money that you have worked hard for, for a, an opportunity to, let's say, increase that tenfold within one year. It's just simply, in most cases, not realistic, and you're going to end up very disappointed, and you may even end up having less money than what you began with. Like I said, this video is just meant to put things in perspective. You want to be able to save every penny that you earn, and you want to be able to invest it wisely. You want to be able to afford a house at some point in time. You want to be able to retire comfortably. You want to be able to start a business when the time is right, and you get there by making sound decisions, finding a mentor, someone who can guide you along the way and teach you the ins and outs of business or finance or investing. And when you do that, you are destined to be much more successful in your endeavors. And I highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel because I am trying to impart any wisdom that I have learned or that I have been taught along the way and I want to pass that on to you. From credit cards out there, investments, retirement funds, you name it. If I find value in it, I want to pass that value on to you. I want to make you wiser. I want to make sure that I am sharing any success that I have with you, my community. All right, guys and gals, so that's all I've got for you today. I hope that gave you something to think about when it comes to investing and when it comes to money. Have a budget invest smartly, and don't be fooled by those get rich schemes. Like I said, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.